Welcome to Mountain to Lake Realty Showcase. I'm Bob Parcell. And I'm Steve Furrow. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate what June does for us here on Cable 12, pr producing this show. You bet. And we appreciate you all out there watching, joining us uh, uh, on the nights and weekends and whenever this thing might get aired, uh, according to Cable 12's showcase, if mm -hmm. you will, when they've got things airing up. But um, we love for you, if you're interested in buying or selling property, we love to visit with you. Uh, Bob, myself, uh, anybody at Mountain Lake Realty, we'd love for you to stop in and see us there. We're located at 195 South Main Street yep. in Uptown Rocky Mount, Bob. Mm -hmm. And as we said before, it's not because of Steve and I on this show, but I do think it's a huge advantage for sellers who list their property at Mountain Lake to have it um, on this showcase. It's cable due to Cable 12's reputation, not our performance. Is what I'm trying to say. Well, what I was I was thinking that's why they watch Bob. Okay, come well, on now. But I do think that's a huge advantage. A lot, a lot of people in the community watch Cable 12 and have for years. They do a great job, and I do think it's a huge advantage for you. You don't, you don't know where a buyer is coming from. Just need one, and I think it is an advantage for sellers to list their property with our company so we can be on our showcase. You How about bet. that, Steve? No, I think it's a, a great advantage and we also, mm -hmm. not only does it go out to Cable 12, but we push it on out to and other channels as well, so um, mm -hmm. you just never know where you might see Bob's face. <laughs> <laughs> um, with that being said, uh, guys, we just came through the Veterans Day weekend mm -hmm. and we certainly want to thank all those veterans out there, uh, your service, we certainly do appreciate that. Uh, very much uh, you allow us the opportunity to enjoy the freedoms and the opportunity that we have here to uh, come out and share with you these homes and this showcase. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, Bob, um, speaking of veterans and Veterans Day, there's a veterans a VA loan that's a product out here that a lot of lenders will share with those. Can you tell us maybe some quick highlights of what that might yeah. be? Yeah, Veterans Loan is a great program for veterans. Um, best advice really is to speak with a lender. They can give you all the details on who is eligible, but Steve and I were talking, it's our understanding that's both for new construction and existing homes. Um, some of the advantages are you know, no down payment in some situations. Or no private mortgage insurance is another one that, uh, you know, depending on uh, how you, what loan types and things you're working with, sometimes it could be required to pay uh, PMI, as uh, some people in the industry would refer to, but that's private mortgage insurance. And so, generally speaking, uh, most VA loans would be uh, exempt from that. Well, that's a huge part of it. Um, a lot of loan types, we talk about loan types frequently on the show, but mm -hmm. VA is a loan type. A lot of loan types, especially with 100% financing, there are other loans that provide that, or up to 96.5%, but a lot of loan types, as Steve mentions, the buyer or the owner, new owner, have to pay private mortgage insurance until 20% equity is in the home. And a lot of times that can be 11 or 12 years on a 100% loan before that's achieved. And I was reading something recently in, uh, about veterans loan and they're trying to promote it more because a small percentage of veterans are, I think aware of it or take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. So the best advice is if you are a veteran seeking to purchase a home, speak with a lender, they can give you all the details, but it's a great thing to be aware of. You bet. It's a great great mm -hmm. opportunity there and, and, and so deserved as far as uh, what they do and what they have done for us. Um, the yeah. least we can do is you know, give them an opportunity to take advantage of that VA loan yeah. type. So. And one more little pitch on speaking with the lender. If you, when you do speak with the lender, try to be pre-approved for various loan types such as conventional. For example, if you walk into a home that's a foreclosure, um, it may need a roof for example. Some loan types would not work until that roof was put on prior to closing. Some loan types, such as conventional, is a better chance that it would work. Yeah. So attempt to be, have as many options as possible, attempt to have as many loan types as possible in your toolbox, so to speak. So if you find the, a home that needs a certain loan type, you can pull that tool out. You'd be ready to go. Yeah. Be ready to go. How about that? Well, Bob, let's jump in here. Let's talk about some properties. 
Let's do it. All right, here's a brand new listing we have on Greenview Drive. It's in Rocky Mount. It's, uh, if you're not familiar with where Greenview would be, you would take 40 West and you turn left on Mountaintop Drive. Um, and this property is at the corner of Mountaintop and Greenview Drive. But a great location. And when you think about uh, that and you know where it might be in relation to your ability to get to downtown Rocky Mount, but uh, it's just uh, a great spot here. 11.6 acres. Um, it is zoned A1, but uh, a lot, little over 200 feet of road frontage there on Mountain View Drive, and um, certainly some additional frontage there, almost 50 feet of frontage on Greenview Drive. But uh, potentially, uh, you could maybe potentially divide this into a couple of different sites, but uh, this is a great property and a great location here on Greenview Drive in Rocky Mount. And Bob, you've got uh, a nice place to talk about here, a new listing on South Main Street. Yep, just outside the town limits of Rocky Mount, but close enough to be on public water. So technically it's in the county, but again, you have public water. It's just well off the road for being so close to the town limits. It is private, 1.42 acres. Also has frontage on front, I'm sorry, on Sunrise Road. This is a three bedroom, one bath home with right at 1,300 square feet of finished living space. Obviously it's a brick home. Updates include a fence yard, hardscaping wall, and the fire pit, fence for pets. Other updates include a kitchen island, updated bathroom, quartz countertops, built-in convection microwave, fridge, water heater, and some landscaping. Now a few of these pictures are virtually staged, such as this one, but you have a nice large kitchen that's extensively updated, good sized dining area beside it. See the stainless steel appliances. Again, many updates including these appliances and a heat pump. This is also virtually staged as one of three bedrooms all on the entry level. Full bath, as you can see, it's been updated as well. Home features wood floors in several rooms. Also has a full basement, really nice sunroom as you come in off that covered patio, the door that leads you into the kitchen. Always nice to have an unfinished basement, in my opinion, to keep a close eye on your plumbing, electrical, heating and air. Just keep a close eye on things. And lots of storage space down there too, huh? Again, 1.42 acres may not sound like a lot of land, but in the town or near the town of Rocky Mountain, that's a very good sized lot. Closed on a lot last week that was, I think it was 0.2 acres. So this is about seven times bigger, Steve. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> secluded home, a little bit south of Rocky Mountain, off South Main Street. Be glad to show it to you. This is a unique listing here. Came on the market and was under contract within just a, just, in just a few days. But this was a new listing, uh, just recently came on. Three bedrooms, three full baths, a little over 2,700 total square feet. As you can see, it is a log home. But uh, this was on Algoma Road. Of course, it has a Boone's Mill address, but uh, in my opinion, it uh, is in the Callaway area. Um, it's in the Callaway, between Callaway and Boone's Mill. But, uh, Really nice uh, bar as mountain views. Uh, you sit up on that balcony there and just uh, and take them in. It's a great spot there. And of course, 13.3 acres. You've got uh, an opportunity. You've got a barn. You've got a, a fenced-in pasture, certainly ready for any of those uh, outdoor pets that you might want to bring along. I, I like those three decks there to take advantage of the beautiful Callaway area yeah, near so the parkway. It's those decks, uh, they're in a great spot because uh, you're sitting there, um, you, know, you just have the opportunity to take in views uh, in multiple in multiple directions. So, but a great spot here. We'll come on around and give you some aerial shots here, get a chance to see that barn um, that we have there, but 13.3 acres. You step inside, of course, uh, with being a log home, it does not disappoint inside. You've got the nice stone fireplace. Um, you, see the, you see the log uh, interior there. Um, you really got to appreciate uh, 
that rustic feel that you get. And then of course, we talk about those views, Bob, but the windows here uh, would lend to your ability, lots of light and lots of ability to take in those great views. As we come around, we get a chance to see the kitchen. Of course, here is uh, one of the bedrooms. As I mentioned, it's three bedrooms and three full baths here on this home on Algoma Road. Uh, to come upstairs, you get a chance to see some of the additional bedrooms, bath. It does have a partial walkout basement, which you get a chance to see here. But great place for storage, as well as a single car garage underneath. Of course, there's the barn. You get a chance again to see a little bit of those views we were talking about. But uh, perfect uh, mini farm here, 13.3 acres here on Algoma Road in Boone's Mill. Bob, we're gonna to move to Roanoke now. This is Roanoke County. We've got the, the Pine subdivision. We've got a town hall, <clears throat> townhouse and off of Dyer Court. It's a two-story townhouse, has three bedrooms and two and a half baths. Dyer Court, uh, if you're not familiar, you take uh, Franklin Road there to Glen Heather Drive. You turn right on Roxbury Lane and then a right on Dyer Court. And these townhomes are on the left there. Get a chance to step inside, give you a chance to see a recently remodeled kitchen and island. And uh, great storage space and prep area. Uh, this is very convenient. You know, you're not far from shopping and restaurants here, right off of Franklin Road. We'll come around and give you a chance to see the living room and dining room area. But uh, three bedrooms, two and a half baths here in Dyer Court. And this is in Roanoke, uh, Roanoke County. But, uh, great to get a back deck here. Great view off the back deck. But, um, lots of things to offer here in this Dyer Court uh, that is in the Pines subdivision. Here's that back deck I was talking about with a great view. But, uh, this is Dyer Court in Roanoke. As we come back to Rocky Mountain for this home on Dent Street. Of course, within the town limits, you're on public water and sewer. In the current market we're in, <clears throat> in my opinion, a home in this price range that has a new heat pump and new roof within the last month will be probably difficult to find. Um, in addition to a new roof, all OSB boards were replaced underneath, so it was a pretty extensive upgrade there. Again, also has a heat pump. Additionally, um, interior paint was done this year. Home features 864 feet of finished living space, three bedrooms, one bath, wood floors, which have one level living with a laundry on the entry level. I mentioned the Updates this year, the heat pump, the roof, and paint. About 10 years ago, a new water line to the street was put in, as well as kitchen cabinets, double sink appliances, updated bathroom, and breaker box. Um, I had a sewer line put into my house, or a new one. It's not an inexpensive thing to have done. This was a water line, but still, that's an important upgrade as well. A lot of updates this time on Dent Street. That's going to be a little bit on the west side of Rocky Mount off of Franklin Street. Glad to give you more details. This is a storage area off the end of the attached carport. A lot of updates on Dent Street and Rocky Mount. All right, we're gonna stay in Franklin County. This is Virgil Good Highway. Um, you head to, out of Rocky Mount, 220 South, approximately 13 miles. This property is on your right. It's actually just past Henry Road. But it's a completely remodeled brick ranch home. It's located between Rocky Mountain and Bassett. Uh, you've got one level living all on the entry level. You've got 2,317 square feet on the entry level. And guess what? Yes, you have a full walkout basement, which brings our total square footage on this, prop on this particular property in this home a little over 4,000 square feet. So you're looking for a completely remodeled home with lots of living space, lots of areas for storage, all one level living here on the entry level. You cannot overlook this home here on Virgil Goode Highway.
All right, so let's step inside. Everybody got a chance to see that uh, attached two car carport there. Gonna step inside and we get a chance to see some of those new updates that we talked about. But you get a chance to see the new flooring. Of course, the new kitchen countertops, cabinets, that, uh, new paint. That, uh, got the nice brick masonry fireplaces there coming around. You've got four bedrooms and two and a half baths here. But, uh, lots to talk about here in this particular home. When we talk about updates, nice things, we'll get a chance to see. Um, you get a chance to see that flooring. Look here, guys. Clean as a pen is what my dad would say, son. Son, clean as a pen. But, uh, lots of updates here in this property on Virgil Butte Highway. It sits on two acres. It does have a detached two-car garage. You see here, it's 24 by 24. It does. Um, as well as a 24 by 30 garage as well. But this would be Virgil Good Highway in Rocky Mount. Welcome so back to Rocky Mount. This is home on Harvey Street, that's off of North Main Street. It has really good views of Grassy Hill. And when you're out in the can a little bit now, you can really, since there's a subdivision on Grass Hill, you can really get your bearings where Grass Hill is, but pretty good elevation there. This is a four bedroom, one full bath home with 1,266 square feet on the entry level, plus a full walkout basement. Across the street from the home is a detached two car carport and a place for another two other cars to park. Updates include a new roof this year, air conditioning was replaced in 2021, hot water heater in 22, as well as a stove, and electrical panel box in 2020. As you can see in this picture, the laundry is on the entry level, so you can have one level living. Also again has a full walkout basement. See in this picture, also a nice storage building. Backyard goes up to a creek, or backs up to the creek. And really good views of Grassy Hill. So we'll be glad to give you more details in the viewing of this home off North Main Street in Rocky Mount. Next we'll travel to Providence Church Road, which has a Ferrum address, but a little bit south of Rocky Mount, take a right on 619, which is Pleasant Hill, left on Providence Church. You'll find this home with 20 plus acres on your right. It's one owner, one owner home, well maintained. 2004 construction, updates include a 2018 rudd heat pump and LVP flooring in the living room. It's a three bedroom, two full bath, two half bath home. Total finished square footage is 2,050, also has a full walkout basement where you'll find the second half bath roughed in for a shower. We could have a full bath there if you want to do so. Entry level features 1,330 square feet. You can have one level living as the primary bedroom and bath and laundry all on the entry level. Upstairs you'll find another 720 square feet. Two more bedrooms, the second full bath, and then a bonus room which does not have a closet, so it's considered like a family room. It's a very large room on that second level with a dormer, lots of light. This, this is the room I'm referring to in this picture. As I mentioned, it has a full walkout basement with high ceilings. If you wanted more square footage than the 2050, then you surely have an opportunity in this lower level. As I, as I mentioned, there's a half bath in place now. Most of the land is wooded, but it does have a large front yard, so it's pretty good ways off the road. Going to give you more details for that home as we go to Round Hill Road there, Steve. You bet, Bob. We're going to head to Round Hill. We're going to go north of Rocky Mountain now. We're going to head off Round Hill Road. If, is, um, if you go up to 122, headed out of, out of town, out of town of Rocky Mountain North, you would turn right on Longwood and then a left on Round Hill. This is a 3.94, almost four acre lot. As you'll see three bedrooms, three full baths, almost 2,700 total square feet here. But as I mentioned, three bedrooms, three full baths. You do have a full walkout basement here in this home. 
We step inside, you get a chance to see the living room with the masonry fireplace. It does have gas logs, built-in storage shelving there. Look at all this tons of space here as far as storage space, as Betty would like to call it, in those cabinets. Great, uh, great kitchen here. Come around to the back side of the home, you get a chance to see uh, a little bit of the, the view that you get here off the back deck, this 3.94 acres. Do have a, <clears throat> excuse me, a detached garage and workshop here. It does have electricity. A nice uh, place for somebody to hang out and maybe do a little shade tree mechanic. In. But this would be Round Hill Road in Rocky Mount. Next we'll travel to Cheston Hill Road. A little bit south of uh, South Main Street to Doe Run Road, left on Chestnut Hill, and you're working your way over crossing the Pig River towards Redwood. Then you go to Chestnut Hill. Nice one acre lot, 1,960 square feet from this 2,000 year construction home. It also has a detached garage. Big ticket update was in September of 23, a new heat pump. It's a three bedroom, two bath home. Good sized kitchen with Dining area to the right, you see in this picture, laundry room to the door there to the right. In addition to the kitchen and dining area, there's also a den that you see in this picture with stacked stone fireplace. Then you work your way over through that den area to a good sized living room. As I mentioned, it's three bedrooms and two baths. Not too far from Rocky Mountain at all. I go this way frequently when I usually when I go to Redwood or Glade Hill, or Union Hall, or Smith Mountain Lake, I will go this way from Rocky Mountain, pass by this home on Chestnut Hill. You bypass all the stoplights, is that what you're doing, Bob? That's a diplomatic way of saying yeah, it. I hear you. But nice home. Be glad to give you more details and showing for this home on Chestnut Hill Road. Again, new heat pump in September of this year. All right, Rock Lily Road. It's uh, just a little, <clears throat> a little north of town here, but if you were to, from Rocky Mount, you would head north on 220, and you would then take a right on Wirtz Road and a left on Rock Lily. Find this property out there, Rock Lily Road. It actually has a Wirtz address, 29.68 acres here. Um, you think about uh, country living, you think about barns, you think about mountain views and streams, you think about a place to keep horses. You've got it all here in this property on Rock Lily Road. We've got three bedrooms, two full baths here with this home, a little over 18, almost 1900 square feet. As I mentioned there, we talked about the barn and a place to keep some farm animals, but you do have that here on Rock Lily. We'll come back to the house, a chance to see that nice slate front porch. We'll step inside and you get a chance to see a little bit of the kitchen, dining room area here. Come around, see the dining room, there's that rocking chair there taking in those nice views. As I mentioned, it's three bedrooms and two full baths. And, uh, We'll come around here to the back side of the home. We're going to show you some more. As I mentioned there, the barns. You've got a 60 by 90 stable. It does have electricity and water. Uh, you do have five horse stalls. You've got a riding ring, chicken house, workshop, more. It's uh, a lot more here than what we're going to cover. But uh, open land, wooden, wooden acreage there on 29.63 acres. So, love to show you this home on Rock Lily Road in Wirtz. Next, let's travel to Roanoke, West, uh, West Roanoke County for this home on Creekwood Drive, kind of in the Glenbury area. So, West Main Street to Texas Hollow, if you're familiar with that area, then left on Creekwood. That's where you'll find this home built in 1971, 1,000 square feet, three bedrooms and two baths. Kids used to play a lot of soccer. This is called Green Hill Park. Very convenient to that. But as this listing shows, we work with buyers and sellers in areas outside of Franklin, including this home just a little bit west of Salem, working your way up Christiansburg Mountain towards 
Blacksburg and Christiansburg. Entry level this time has a nice size living room, wrap around dining room and kitchen. Also has a nice fenced yard. But again, we work with, we work with buyers and sellers in areas outside of Franklin. If it's an area we're not familiar with, we'll be glad to tell you that. But certainly in this case, we're working with people in West Roanoke County. All right, we're going to come back uh, from Roanoke County. We'll come back to Franklin County now. This Beach Mountain Road. This would be west of Rocky Mount. You'd head west on 40 now there and then turn left on Beach Mountain Road. This property is on your right. But a recently remodeled home. But, uh, some great mountain views here. Two bedrooms, one full bath. You'll see. Um, we'll step inside and get a chance to see the den and fireplace here. So that's on 0.81 acres. And, uh, here's a shot of the kitchen. Of course, a dining room area. Here's a part of one side of that den I was talking about there. Of course, all one level living. A little over 1,320 total square feet here in this home. And, uh, there's, of course, the master primary bedroom suite there. We're going to have a nice two-car garage. It's a 24 by 40. A great spot to store that collectible car you got, or maybe you're going to create a business and you know you need a nice workshop to work out of. This will be a great spot for that here on Beach Mountain Road. Actually, has a Ferrum address. Beach Mountain Road in Ferrum. You get a chance to see that outdoor garage and the ability for storage, uh, like say a workshop or even a business location. Well, this is Beach Mountain Road in Ferrum. Next, we'll travel to Works Road, convenient, of course, to Burt Chimney and run up for this three bedroom, two bath home featuring 1,264 square feet. Let's have a partial basement, heat pump with gas back up. Really good location. There's a split bedroom design with Primary bedroom suite and huge walk-in closet on one side and the two additional bedrooms on the other. Again, three bedrooms and two baths. There's a nice eat-in kitchen. Laundry's on the lower level. But really great location, hard to beat that. A lot of people work in Red Oak and easy commute from this home on Works Road. You know, I like that location because it's not far from Dairy Queen. It works, doesn't it? And you could it get you a blizzard. You could have you some ice cream every night if you so desired, and it wouldn't take you long to do it. That's right. <laughs> well, here we are talking about another property. We're staying in Franklin County. This is Lucy Wade Road in Rocky Mount. So that's on 5.2 acres. Uh, this home, when you think about updates, we've got a new roof. Well, we've got a new indoor heat pump and an outdoor unit. You got new paint. I mean, what else could you want here? Come check out this three bedroom, two full bath, a little over almost 1,850 square feet here in this home on Lucy Wade that does have a Rocky Mount address. If you're not familiar, Lucy Wade from Rocky Mount, go 220 South, left on Sontag Road, then left on Lucy Wade. This home is on your left. As I mentioned, 5.2 acres. So you got uh, a nice private setting. You do have an additional 20 by 30 garage that you see there to the left. You got a nice fire pit here out of your right. Take in that nice private setting that you've got. Here we step inside, get a chance to see the living room area. Of course, uh, here's a kitchen, an island. As I mentioned, all one level living, so you have your laundry on the entry level. Come around to the primary bedroom, bath. Three bedrooms, two full baths. Well, Begin to move along. Here's that garage I talked about, that 20 by 30 garage. It does have a wood stove unit. 5.2 acres here, and so you get a chance to see that private setting, but a great spot to take in sunrise or sunset, depending on your mood. Uh, this would be Lucy Wade Road in Rocky Mount. And Bob, I think we're about to finish things up, aren't we? I believe we're about out of time for this week's showcase. We'll have to start with that one on South Main Street next week. We look forward to seeing you then. Until then, take care everyone.